All right, welcome back to White Mountains today. We were joined in the studio with Aaron and Nate. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Really Thanks appreciate it. Yeah. And you guys have uh, a couple different things going on. Uh, well, let's start. We'll start right at the start with the 100-acre uh, challenge that's going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Give us an overview, maybe. Um, that is one of our bigger fundraisers that we do for our Believe in Books Literacy Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, that is coming up on September 22nd. It's a Saturday. We try to make it an all day affair. We have um, food trucks and a band and all sorts of things coming. And people are coming to our 100-acre wood property. Mm -hmm. um, up in Intervale. If you haven't been there, you should check it out. It's pretty awesome, and it's a it's an obstacle race, so it's oh, kind of like cool. a tough mud. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I didn't. I thought it was some kind of obstacle yeah. race, but there's some. I think I saw some videos and stuff. Of people like in the mud, yeah, in the crawling mud through culvert tubes, Crazy. and yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's. A, I mean, it's a Spartan race, but like it's all natural stuff throughout our entire property. So we've created obstacles out of mud and made walls. And right. How yeah. how does that building process even begin? Oh, it's yeah. A, I mean, it's got to take some time, right? It all comes from the creative mind of our predecessor. No, what is his name? Yeah. Our executive our director, our boss. Our he just director. was like, hey, we have this property here with all these awesome things these gravel hills and mm -hmm. mud pits and the river and fallen trees and all this stuff. And he's like, let's do something with it. Right, that. Yeah, yeah. Might as well throw <laughs> that together into some awesome obstacle course. Like down a little bit, it's in your throat. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> little mic adjustment, flipping it around. <laughs> that's that? always how it happens. Local TV. That's the way. there. You go. Nice job. Perfect. Okay. So that's on the twenty second of September. It is. Yes. It is perfect. Yeah. And then what? How do you go about signing up for something like that? Um, you can go right to our website, believeinbooks.org. There's a sign up right there. This year we've kind of created it as a pledging event. So mm -hmm. when you sign up and you register, you can register as an individual, a team of two, a team of three, or a team of four. Nice. And then within that, your team can raise even more money for our foundation. And what we're raising money for is to get books into the hands of young kids, start them reading early. And right. Yeah. Get them all set up. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's all part of the whole mission. and. At Believe in Books, which you know we we love books and we love making sure that they are in the homes of every everybody, all children, because who doesn't love books? Right. <laughs> yeah. Of course. And and yeah, that, that's such an awesome mission to have too. Yeah. Um, and Believe in Books has been a, around for a long time, right? And you've been with them for I twenty have. years. Uh, well, I haven't 20 been twenty-ish yeah, years. Oh, kind here of. we go. Now the I cameras mean, are on. This, this <laughs> so, answer changes. <laughs> ah. uh, officially working for them, I've been there for a little over ten years, I believe. I'd have okay. to do math. Um, right. mm -hmm. But uh, we originally started with the Journey to the North Pole event, which okay. used to be called the Polar Express. We don't talk about that. Right. Um, <laughs> CC. But when I was right. in high school, I used to volunteer for that, so I kind of have been involved. Right. Since so then. yeah, you. So, You've yeah, had that common it's been thread. That long, I guess. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so the you have the hundred acre challenge, and you also have the fun run, right? Yeah. That's coming up. That's coming up soon. That's a really big yes, event. Yes, it is. Um, that's at Storyland. Too. It's exciting. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, the, our fun run. It's our what sixth. It's our sixth, sixth year yes. doing the fun that's run. That's why you're both here. And <laughs> exactly. Um, and basically, the the kids get to. We have kids. 13 and under, and they get to race through the park before it opens. So mm -hmm. it's like, if you ever wanted to see the park like with nobody in it, this mm -hmm. is when you get to do that. You get to race through it. It's so much fun. Right. Um, it all part. It's all part of the healthy readers type program. So like, we don't uh, don't only just believe in reading books, but also making the stories come to life. And what better way to stay healthy by running through Storyland? Right. Uh, Could not be better. And that seems like a childhood dream, maybe even an adult dream of mine to run through a theme park before it's open. Yeah, you're always told, hey, no running, don't run. Right. Now you get to. Here's your opportunity, as long as you're under 13. Yes. Yeah, did you say under 13 <laughs> or under 25? Because I think either way I might have a chance. We're going to have to go with 13. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's really cool. And if you want to sign up for either of these events, where where do I go? I'm interested in signing up. Uh, Believeinbooks.org has all of the information on both events and the link to sign up for both of them. Um, the fun run is only $10. Wow. Uh, Memorial Hospital 
as well as Storyland are our biggest um, supporters for that, and they are offering a scholarship to local area kids. Um, mm -hmm. Depends to on what SAU on you live in, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, and, and so it's free, and then you get a free pass to go into Storyland for the day, all the racers. So right, it's definitely that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, so you get a you after you finish the race, you can stay in Storyland afterwards and, and go exactly. in. Yeah. They don't kick you out. That's it's awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. So you run through it once, then you can go back through and do the. Yeah. I guess you can't run it again when it's open, but you can no. walk it again when it's open. Yes, yeah, and, do, and go on all the rides. <laughs> right. right, then the rides are open, I yeah. guess. So. Right. <laughs> that is awesome. And the 100 Acre Challenge is not for 13 and under, right? That's for. Um, actually we actually do have a kids' mini acre challenge. So mini there are kids challenge. that oh, can come cool. and do some small little obstacles, get a little muddy, and then their parents and whoever can come and race the big race. Right. And the, yeah. and the big race, how long is that obstacle course? Is there a run attached to the obstacle course? It's about a 5K, course? yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So and it's legitimate then. Like it's not just... Like obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's some running in between. That's it's, awesome. Yeah. Do you have a favorite obstacle or a... Uh, I think the new one that we built, that, that wall at the pond, then yeah. you slid, you climbed up the back side of the wall and you slid down into right. our pond. Get down. Oh, Get sweet. So it's like a right slide down into the wand. Property. Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I That's really cool. Yeah. No. I can tell you the one that I would never do, which is the one in the hole in the ground. <laughs> you're nope. digging through the mud it's there. It's like a no. trench. You have to like army crawl. It's through incredible it. how many people will show up for that kind of stuff. I know. So many love it too. Well, you have to, I mean, it's like a, it's like a bucket list thing or something. You know, you got to check it off. You know, you got to say like you've climbed, you've crawled through some mud, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what was that website one more time if you want to sign up Believe for Believe in it? books.org. Believe in books.org. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100 Acre Challenge and the Fun Run. You can sign up for both of them. When is the Fun Run happening? Labor Day. Labor, Labor Day. Day. So yes. The 3rd of September, that's when that is happening. So that's happening pretty soon. And it then is. on the 22nd is the 100 Acre Challenge. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you guys are pretty bu pretty busy. So believeinbooks.org? Yes. Believeinbooks.org is where you can go and check that out. Awesome. Is there anything else that's really burning that we, we got to get out? Yeah. I think so. Nice job. It's pretty. It's always more efficient when you have two people yeah. coming in. You know, you right? guys can bounce off each other. Exactly. It's awesome. <laughs> well, Eric and Nate, uh, Aaron and Nate, thank you so much. I even wrote it down and got it wrong. Darn it. Yeah. You said you. Were. Yeah, I got oh, the whole interview went so well, and I blew it right at the end. Well, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> really appreciate it. Believeinbooks.org if you want to sign up for the Hundred Acre Challenge or the Fun Run. They've got a lot going on. Sounds good. Check it off your bucket list and do that crazy obstacle course. We'll be right back. You're watching White Mountains today.